It's Monday before Easter, and today's reflection comes from the books of Mark and Matthew, and is entitled The Withered Fig Tree. It's a story of Jesus having an interaction with a tree that is so much more than just finding a piece of fruit. Let's have a read. Returning to Jerusalem from the Mount of Olives, Jesus and his followers noticed a fig tree in the distance, probably because its green leaves were so obvious in the early growing season. Jesus, hungry and faint from a night of prayer, needed sustenance. Seeing the green tree against the brown hills, he had good reason to expect to find figs on its branches. It was a common saying in Galilee that the fruit of the fig appeared before the leaves, yet the tree yielded nothing for Jesus, and he called judgment on it. Jesus gave an explanation passed on to us by both Gospels. Have faith in God, Jesus began, perhaps hoping they would understand immediately that without faith, Israel, in all of its glory, was as barren of God as the tree had been of figs. We can understand that the disciples, frail in their humanity, might have been too much in awe of the miracle to comprehend its meaning. A storm calmed, the lame healed, a man raised from the dead. All of these events, like the withered fig tree, were so incredible, it was difficult to look beyond the miracle for meaning. So Jesus explained further, using a common rabbinical expression for doing the impossible, shifting mountains. I tell you the truth, Jesus continued, if anyone says to this mountain, go throw yourself into the sea and does not doubt in his heart but believes that what he says will happen, it will be done for them. Perhaps Jesus stopped speaking again, hoping his point would be obvious. Faith, far more than giving power to prayer, is also its foundation. Faith allows a soul to trust in God and with this trust allows prayer to be offered untainted by self-awareness, selfish ambition or the hard heart of unforgiveness. In true prayer, the possibilities of faith are without limit. If the disciples still did not comprehend fully and if Jesus felt frustration, we can easily hear him continuing with compassion for these devout, unlearned men whom he loved as brothers. I tell you then, Jesus said, completing his lesson, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. And when you stand praying, if you hold anything against anyone, forgive him, so that your Father in heaven may forgive you. It was said that the fig tree was an image of the nation of Israel. And where Jesus met his soon-to-be follower Nathanael, he said to him, here is, a, here is an Israelite in whom there is nothing false. And Nathanael says, how do you know me? And Jesus said, I saw you under the fig tree. It's an image of Israel. So when Jesus sees this fig tree with no fruit on it, he curses it and it dies. He says later in the week to the Pharisees that the kingdom will be taken from them and given to others. And they blew up because to them that was an impossibility. And yet this fig tree became a picture of what was to come. One of my favourite preachers is a guy by the name of Jim Bergen and he defines faith as believing that God is who he says he is and will do everything he has promised to do. This is the kind of faith that causes us to pray the sorts of prayers that Jesus wants us to pray instead of the sorts of prayers that we want to pray. We need a faith that trusts God and that asks God for the things that God wants us to ask for and we know that when we have that kind of faith, when our prayers are not asking God to come across to our agenda, but asking God to change us to align with his agenda, that we will receive what we have asked for. Our prayers will be answered. That's the kind of faith we need 
as we look towards Easter. Let's pray. Father God, we ask you to give us the kind of faith that sees fruit, the kind of faith that causes our lives to be fruitful, where we can ask you for things knowing that we will receive them because we're asking things that you would want us to ask for. God, help us not to ask you to align with us, but instead help us to align ourselves with you. And God, where we have uh, unforgiveness in our heart, please bring that to the surface for us so that we can uh, make amends, that we can give forgiveness to those who have offended us and in so doing, receive the forgiveness that you offer to us. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye for now.